hey brown beauty so this is a really quick um protective style my go-to style that i do um it's about that time of the year just put it up in some pretty braids and bees got the whole tribal thing going on so right here i'm just kind of stretching my hair out um moisturizing it i used my her glory infused organic clove uh whipped butter highly moisturizing um I was able to really moisturize my hair really good and get the braids in there nice and neat. Um, when it comes to protective styles, as I always stress to pick one that is going to be beneficial and healthy to your hair, not just one that's cute or fashionable or, you know, something that you've seen somebody else wear because your hair might not take well to it so you have to keep that in mind when it comes to your protective styles so right here i'm just kind of putting my beads on um keep in mind also to when you fold your hair at the end to beat it make sure you fold up enough hair so that way you do not break off your ends because as we know the ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair which is most fragile and we definitely want to protect our ends because that's where we see our growth. That's how we retain our growth and be able to see it. So I'm kind of fast forwarded a little bit. I'm right here at the front of my hair, just taking down my braids. Um, I actually had detangled and sectioned my hair the night before and moisturized it um, with my infused clove whipped butter. And so that's why I was looking really moisturized right here. Um, I'm gonna give myself a quick massage. <laughs> But just keep in mind, the goal, the goal for protective styling is something that is actually going to protect your hair. Because remember, protect means to protect, right? Something that doesn't damage it. So keep in mind, if you're not a bead and braid girl, that's okay. Find a protective style that works for you. But this works for me. It helps my hair to grow. Um, I can add, um, easily get inside my scalp, uh, grease it, oil it, or do whatever I need to do. So I'm basically just... Moving to the front of my hair, getting ready to part it, um, section it off, and throw them braids in the front. Now, I did a little bit something different at the front. I did add in a little bit of uh, fancy decoration, which was like just some gold trim that I added into my braid just to give it a nice little suggest to it. Um, you'll see as I get there. I'll just let you watch a little bit and stop talking. <laughs> you see how shiny my hair is? It's very shiny. This is my whipped butter, sisters. If you're not hip, go ahead and try it. Um, I will drop the link uh, to where you can actually buy the butter to moisturize your hair and help grow healthy hair. Uh, but as you can see, I use it on my own hair and it is really, really helping my hair to grow. Um, it helps this. What I found out with sectioning my hair to do this protective style, I found out that it is a, actually a really good detangler. So as y'all can see, I don't use combs to detangle my hair. I use my fingers, but I was able to really get through them, um, through the hair to braid very easily. So this is the gold trim that I added as I was telling you. You know, just to spunk it up a little bit. It actually turned out really pretty. I wasn't sure because it was so thick. I wasn't sure how it was gonna kind of blend in, but it turned out nice. Now these beads are the beads that I had in, I wanna say about maybe four months ago. So I saved my beads. I was gonna go buy some new ones but yeah i just didn't get around to it and i was ready to do my hair so yeah i kept the same ones but moving forward uh as it get hotter and we going on into um summer and stuff you know i'll be getting like some more summer some some year some years <laughs> some more summer type colors um brighter brighter pinks and stuff like that i like really light colors but this whole tribal bead and braid it's looking really cute sisters so if y'all not hip go ahead get hip to them beads because they actually help to grow your hair as well if you didn't realize that
so always remember with protective styling if it's not potentially going to grow your hair then it's not a protective style if it causes damage if it causes hair loss um if it rips your hair out if it breaks your hair off if it's a style where you can't get moisture inside your hair and it dries your hair out uh, which ultimately causes breakage which that's what we're trying to avoid because we want to grow our hair right down our backs you want to avoid those type of protective styles because remember it's health over length you know it's all about health because your hair as i said it can be down to your knee if it's unhealthy is is damaged unhealthy hair and eventually stuff that's unhealthy and it's not treated it just dies off so our our number one go-to is to make sure your hair is healthy to protect the style is healthy throughout your hair journey okay so as you can see i'm kind of at the end now um what i use i, I actually have a, a um shea butter edge control that i made um, I'm still working on it to get it to hold longer instead of just, you know, that day. Uh, and once I get to figure out exactly how I need to mix it, I'll be also adding that to my hairline for sisters that don't really like putting chemicals in their hair, which I am that. Uh, that's me. I don't like eating things that's got chemicals in it, stuff that's processed, additives, preservatives same thing with my hair i treat my hair like the inside of my body and so i want it to be healthy so i don't want to use things that has chemicals and preservatives in it and you should be the same but as y'all can see i put my little cute earrings on got my whole little tribal thing going and it looked very cute <laughs>